Well, the Delta State Government has organized a two-day training and induction program for the newly recruited teaching and non-teaching staff of the various technical colleges. The State Commissioner for Technical Education, Princess Shola Ogbemi Daibo, said the training is to ensure that the staff are ready for the task ahead as the technical school commences studies next week. Correspondent Odo Young reports. After a rigorous recruitment exercise, the state organizes a two-day training and induction for teaching and non-teaching staff of the three technical colleges ready to kick off by Monday, 19 September. The essence is to equip them with the ethics of the civil service rules and innovative teaching strategies. This induction training is aimed at preparing you for the one's tasks ahead and will cover such areas as appraising you with extant public service rules and career prospects, effective curriculum delivery, innovative teaching and learning strategies. For optimal delivery, the commissioner says they will be monitored from time to time to ensure they live up to expectations. After the training that posted to their schools, we will follow them up to make sure that the normal things they do in, in, in normal secondary school or technical school will not, I mean, will not repeat itself. That they will know that their tax is to be able to comport themselves, put themselves together and give the children the best. For the technical college staff, they will put in their best at imparting knowledge. I will discharge it in the way it's supposed to be and I will be an effective teacher just the way they have trained me to be and I will do everything they ask me to do during the course of this induction course. Before, as I mentioned, some of us were just uh, technical knowledge, just the technical level, and that's all. But now, having gone through the four hours of education, you have aspired, you have gone higher, and now you are coming back to impart this knowledge to the students. I am happy the training is going on, and that is what we are expecting from the, this first of its kind. With the completion of three technical colleges, it is hoped that the other seven which are under construction will be completed in due time to complement the approval of 19 technical colleges by the Delta State Government. From Delta State to Dong Yong, Silverbed News 24.